It's a well-known fact that my active vocabulary in Spanish sucks. When you spend 99% of your time with this language just reading and listening, that's going to be natural. But over the past month or so, I have slowly but surely been trying to improve my active vocabulary and been trying to master domains. If you look at my uh, language learning sheet that's online for everyone to see, it's obvious that I haven't put in as much time as I'd uh, like to, or as I would have liked. But anyway, what I've been trying to do is um, master domains. And what I've done is I've compiled this list. Let me make sure I'm on the right screen. Yeah. What I've done is compiled this list of domains that I'm eventually going to um, master. So I started out with weather, tongue time, and family. I'm currently on food, and eventually I'm going to get through all of these. Now, first of all, in order to master a domain, you have to ask yourself, what domains do I even want to master? So first of all, I asked myself, what are my hobbies and what are the things that I'm passionate about? And uh, of course, I put language learning somewhere. Yes, language learning right here. I'm passionate about chess, um, geography, astronomy. But the other ones um, I got from a list of high school and college classes. Because if you really think about it, um, taking high school or taking classes is basically like mastering a domain. So what I did is I searched up list of high school or college classes or whatever, this website right here. And Brave makes this page beige. But anyway, I was going through this list of um, a bunch of different college classes or high school classes. And it's not really about putting every single one down, but it's about getting ideas in your head. So I went through, or I skimmed through um, all of this and compiled um I just chose the most important ones, the ones that stood out to me for things that I'd eventually like to master. And um, that's how I, I got this list right here. Now, um, if you know uh, anything about me, it's that I don't really talk, I don't really speak um, the languages that I'm learning very often. Again, 99% of the time, I'm just listening and reading. So when I do want to speak, it's usually in front of um, a microphone. It's I'm usually not speaking to anyone else. It's just me recording my voice into this microphone and then listening to it again in order to correct my mistakes. So what I what I do, for example, when I um, mastered the weather domain, I went to this website that goes over um, how to say uh, weather terms in Spanish. And after I went through and went through this and um, reviewed it, I just spoke for five or ten minutes on. Um, what's the weather like in the region that I'm in? What was the weather like two months ago? What's the weather like in um, different parts of the U.S. and in other regions of the world? And just by speaking for five or ten minutes on that, that's how I've um, been slowly improving my active vocabulary. And this is a pretty rudimentary article on how to say, um, how to talk about the weather. But it actually is very important, especially when you're at a high level, to get down to the basics because I feel like you'll understand it more and it'll stick in your head better. And I've legitimately learned some useful things. How, um, like you would say, ser for um, the weather that's um, that prevails in an area, but you would use estar for the weather how it is currently. That's an interesting that I've interesting thing that I've learned. And. See, the, I think the other domain was, yeah, telling time. So I just found this random um, clock generator where you click it and it generates a random time. And this is how I've been practicing um, getting good at telling time. Again, just using the internet to my advantage. And I've also been, um, when I was going through um, just a list or a, uh, an article on how to tell time, I know it sounds stupid, but you have to really make sure that you master these things and... Um, get them in your head, um, or I should say, you don't want to say the wrong thing and ingrain it into your head. So you want to make sure that you master the basics well. I was going through this and I found a, a new um, expression for how to tell the time, which I've never seen before. Apparently it's, um, you say it in South America. So that's an interesting thing that I've learned. Let's see, the other thing was family. I don't have a tab here, but I've just been going through um, what are... Uh, I guess I've been going through the idea of can I name all of my family members and can I say um, all of my family members. Um, the final domain that I'm currently on is, yeah, food. So you might have guessed it from the random generators. I just found this random generator online on how to, on um, saying random foods. So 
what I've been doing is clicking generate, going through a list of foods, going through each one. And even though it's in English, that's okay. Um, I've been testing myself to see if I could say it in Spanish. When I don't know the Spanish term, I just look it up on word reference. I search up the English and find the, the Spanish in word reference. And that's how I, um, that's how I've been slowly improving my, um, my food vocabulary. And even though it's, um, it's not a monolingual definition, you are going from, right, I'm going from English to Spanish. It's still kind of one of those things that you just have to do in your native language, especially like imagine learning, um, the chemical elements like, um, like, like iron or hydrogen or things like that. You can look at all the chemistry, you can look at the chemical, whatever in the monolingual definition. But at the end of the day, it's going to be easier if you just learn it or if you make that one-to-one -one correlation from your native language to your target language. So that's what I've been doing um, for foods. And yeah, eventually, I mean, eventually I hope I get through all of this, but um, that's currently what, I'm, what I've am what i been um, doing, as well as just watching random YouTube videos, or reading articles, and then speaking, um, giving my thoughts on those, and um, slowly improving my vocabulary that way. So um, yeah, that's kind of update on where I am with my Spanish right now. Um, that's everything I really wanted to say in this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.